On today's menu, we're making Hasselback potatoes. Probably one of the most satisfying dishes I've made so far. I just want to stare at it. Get yourself a Rousseau potato and lock it in with two chopsticks. Cut very thin slices into the potato. Do not cut all the way through. Throw it onto a baking tray and in a separate bowl, we're going to melt ourselves some butter. A little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic powder since we add it to everything. Let's go. Mix that up and we're going to slowly brush that into every single potato crack. This reminds me of, you know how like when you shower, you take your hands and you credit bake at 450 for 50 minutes take it out and huh how did i burn my potatoes the show must go on okay we're gonna take a slice of cheddar cheese and put it in between every slice of potato and proceed to melt the cheese in the oven take it out and ah top it off with sour cream and green onions this was supposed to have bacon i remember buying it but i guess i left it at the self checkout anyways what's up with the weather in the bay this morning i woke up to a loud boom bro i thought somebody popped me while i was sleeping come to find out we just had a thunderstorm <laughs> On today's menu, we're making honey sriracha chicken wings. Ah, the first thing that you're gonna need are some chicken wings, of course. And in a separate bowl, combine baking powder, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now, this is not on the recipe, but I just added to everything like chicken, steak, cereal, huh? Slowly coat your chicken wings with this mixture. This will basically allow the exterior of the chicken to crisp up in the oven without frying. Ah, healthy, okay. Bake in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. Why is your chicken so ashy? Oh, it's not done. Flip it over and bake for another 40. Our sauce today is really just honey, sriracha, rice, wine, vinegar, and a little bit of sesame oil. The oil really brings out that taste of Asian persuasion that we're looking for. Once your wings are done, just go ahead and combine it with the sauce. You can toss it in the air or if you're not comfortable, you could use a spoon and mix it. Potato, potato, it's the same thing. Finish it off with some sesame seeds and green onion. This cooking shit is easy. Watch this, watch this. <sighs> off the bone. Pause and yeah, that's pretty much it. On today's menu, we're going to make some tempura fried ice cream. First things first, get a cup of scoops of your favorite ice cream. Usually strawberry or green tea works the best, but you can do whatever you want. Just freeze it for one hour. Moving along, get yourself some pound cake, aka the only cakes that we can pound these days. <laughs> it's so hard to crack a smile these days. Anywho, make it flat because we're going to use it to wrap our ice cream balls. And once it looks like a baseball, freeze it for another two hours. And we're back. For the tempura batter, it's really just flour, egg, and cold water. Mix it on up and it should look something like this ah okay okay dip your balls into the batter and flash fry it for only like 15 seconds any longer and it's literally gonna turn into ice cream soup when you cut into it ah that's what i like to see and yeah that's pretty much it feel free to decorate it with whatever you want newton why the hell is your ice cream like half melted uh it was like 100 degrees in my kitchen and i have no ac like what do you want me to do more importantly tiktok is not getting banned okay and if it does shit if you guys see me spinning signs on the street you guys better honk to support Oh shit. Hey guys, today we're gonna be making onion rings. In a big bowl, get yourself some flour, paprika, and garlic powder. I accidentally put in onion powder as well, but I don't think it made a difference, honestly. Throw in a little bit of pepper, salt, and our secret ingredient, which is going to be some beer. But what if I'm not 21? Ah, I remember those good old days. You can just use any other carbonated drink. Mix it until it's smooth. This is me giving beer one last try, and it still tastes like piss. And the worst part is some people will actually sit there and tell you that it tastes good. Huh? Pinocchio, is that you? Anyways, we're gonna cut up our onions into rings like so and lightly flour them to draw out any remaining moisture and that's pretty much it take your onion dip it into the batter and then fry in some hot oil until it's golden brown Ooh! take it out and from this point you can literally use whatever seasoning you want to top it off for example i use lowry seasoning salt but you can use like garlic powder parsley this cooking shit is easy. Now, do i recommend you make this yeah if you don't live next to a carl's jr jack in the box burger king yard house and arby's have you guys ever seen mukbangers eat that stretchy cheese? Because whenever I see that, I'm always like, <laughs> the things that I would do just for one bite. So today, we're gonna try to make it. We're gonna start off by peeling some Yukon gold potatoes and cut them into small chunks so that they can cook a lot faster. Let them vibe in a small pot and pour enough cold water to cover them completely, along with a lot of kosher salt. Once it reaches a boil, we're gonna lower the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Drain out the water and using a potato ricer, we're gonna squish the potatoes back into the pot. Ooh, this reminds me of pimple pot. 
popping. Now throw in your garlic, butter, heavy whipping cream, along with about half of your Gruyere and mozzarella cheese. You want to mix it until your cheese completely melts. And once that happens, throw in the rest of your cheese and keep mixing. Wait for it. Huh? Now it might look a little bit chunky, but that's actually the lighting and reflection in my- Add some parsley! I ate this with some Korean fried chicken and it was actually insane. Oh yeah, don't forget to get your dad or your single mama father's day gift and make it meaningful too. For example, I got my dad a subscription to a premium snack. Wait, huh? On today's menu, I attempt to make Rice Krispie Treats. And it is not the special kind, okay? The last time I ate one of those, I slept at nighttime, and when I woke up, it was still nighttime because I slept for 20 hours. I'm still traumatized. Anyways, we're gonna start off by melting some butter and marshmallows until it looks like this. Take it off the stove and add a little bit of salt and vanilla extract. Mix it until combined, and now it's time to add our cereal. I'm using Fruity Pebbles and a bootleg Rice Krispie cereal. Feel free to use any cereal that you want, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Literally any cereal besides Raisin Bran. Anyways, mix in your cereal and add in some marshmallows. Remember to mix it very slowly. Unless you want your treats to have the consistency of a brick. Once everything is mixed in, we're gonna transfer it onto a baking tray like so. And all we have to do now is let it vibe in the refrigerator for one hour. Take it out and cut it into rectangle or squares. And let's go! It does not look healthy at all. I mean, seriously, it's just a lot of fat, a lot of sugar. This is something that we have to think about. I didn't say you can't eat it. Just think about it and then eat it. <laughs> On today's menu, we're making chicken wings in an air-free air. Start off with one whole chicken wing and we're gonna separate it like that. Yeah. Or you can just buy them pre-cut, toss them into a big ass bowl, and we're just gonna drizzle the smallest amount of avocado oil in there. What we're looking for here is basically a good amount of lubrication on the outside, and we're just gonna season it with garlic salt and lemon pepper seasoning. By the way, this is not my recipe, so do not come at me. And for absolutely no reason at all, I will be adding garlic powder because I just added to everything. Okay, I don't even know why. Once your chicken wings are seasoned, we're gonna get the air fryer that I got for 40% off. Let's go, baby! Listen, if your air fryer does not have at least a six quart capacity, you're a little kid to me i'll kiss you on your forehead Mwah! load up your air fryer and we're just gonna cook it at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes i kind of like my wings burnt so i did 25 oh yeah and do not forget to flip it halfway through after 25 minutes we came out with this what parsley and that's pretty much it listen i'm a proud owner of an air fryer with a six quart capacity at only the age of 21 what this is what success looks like On today's menu, we're making pierogies. Is that how you even pronounce it? Anyways, we're gonna start off by making a dough, which is basically just flour, salt, melted butter, one singular egg, and some Greek yogurt. You want to combine those ingredients in a big ass bowl and mix it until it looks like this. And we're just gonna let our dough relax on the side while we work on our filling. A few potatoes that I riced up, a touch of butter, sour cream, shredded cheese, and a little bit of pepper. And that's pretty much it. All that's left to do, is that a fucking bird? Anyways, it's now time to roll out our dough, okay? Now, what we're looking for here is about one eighth of an inch thickness, I think. Cut out a piece of it and throw the filling into the middle. Fold it into a moon shape like this. Let's go, my first pierogi! Rinse and repeat. And we're just gonna cook these in some salted boiling water. Once they float to the top, we're gonna take them out and quickly saute them in some butter because we want that color. Ooh! Plate it, eat it with whatever you want. Okay, your life, your choice, but don't forget the parsley! In other news, have you guys heard? Jeff Bezos is a trillionaire. What? All I have to say is welcome to the club. Synonym chocolate crescent roll. Ah, essentially this is just a Walmart version of a croissant, but let's make it. First things first, we're gonna brown ourselves a little bit of butter, which is going to give us that nutty flavor. Hey, yo, did he just say nut flavor? Yeah, and that's the best flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Anyways, in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine sugar with cinnamon to make cinnamon sugar. And then bust out your crescent rolls, okay? Each roll should have eight, yeah, eight triangles. Add mini chocolate chips to the bigger end. And roll it straight up until you get something that looks like a croissant. Croissant glizzy? Proceed to brush each of your crescent roll with that brown butter. And then sprinkle on your cinnamon sugar generously. Have you ever had a teacher give you free extra credit? That's how generous I want you to be with the sugar. Bake in the oven for about 10 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, when I made this, I put it on my IG story and someone said that the chocolate inside looks like rabbit poop huh first of all how do you even know what rabbit poop looks like second of all you better sleep with one eye open tonight because i'm about to pull up
On today's menu, we're making something that I've always wanted to make. Eggs Benedict. First things first, cook up some Canadian bacon, which is really like basically ham. Toss in a little bit of butter, and now it's time to toast our English muffins. If you're making something with bread, don't forget to toast it. Like imagine carrying a kid in the womb for nine months just for it to grow up and eat untoasted bread. Huh? Get back in the womb. Anyways, moving along, it is now time to make our poached eggs. Crack an egg into a bowl and slowly throw it into some spinning, simmering water. Take it out after a few minutes and it's so ugly but it's okay because we're gonna cover it with our holiday sauce egg yolk lemon juice a little bit of salt mixed together slowly add in some melted butter until it can coat the back of a spoon like this and that's pretty much it plate it sauce on top a little bit of parsley the funny part is this is actually cake wait for it. Uh, <laughs> wasn't that satisfying though like you know how like when you pop a big juicy zit but how's the taste i mean i don't really like poached eggs so eh, it's cool